Hello guys, Mars Freemans here. So last year, my last video was my unboxing experience with Rococo Indie Bundle. Uh, it was fun and thank you Rococo for sending it. So I figured out it would be a nice way to start this year with sharing my experience, my first hands-on experience with Rococo Suit. So I can split this in two separate videos. Um, one's gonna be more about mock upping and other one's gonna be about using it for live streaming. So you can check my mock up video right here and see my initial experience with that. I just wanna mention that this video is sponsored by Rococo. Uh, Rococo was generous to send me their indie bundle that comes with the Smart Pro 2, Smart Gloves, and the helmet of your choice. You can either choose the one that works with your iPhone or the new helmet that works with Android devices. Their um, India bundle is amazing because it comes with a 40% saving out of the original price. So you can check their website if you qualify for it. And you can use my discount code RKKMarsFreemonis for extra 5% on top of your 40% saving. So check out their website and if you want to own your own mock-up suit, then just go and use, you know, this wonderful chance to get their indie bundle. So just let's jump in my experience. So obviously I started with, you know, grabbing my suit and going through the whole setup, the first, first setup that you need to do, right? Thankfully, it's pretty amazing that like, you know, they have gave all the cables and everything so I can just hook it up and update my suit. Uh, props to Rococo, they're... YouTube tutorials are awesome and actually their whole setup is super easy. Just plug the suit, uh, plug the gloves, you need to plug one glove and the other one. And then I jumped into the whole process. So first I just tested it out in a Rococo studio to play it around. So super cool, you just create your profile so you can create the profiles for different people if different people are using, let's say your computer and all that. Uh, you can adjust the height. So I played it out with the Rococo character in the studio. I had a fun, uh, try different mockups. I started with like, you know, recording some mockups for my game project, you know, uh, chopping animations and stuff like that. So just kind of like get a feel of what I can do with the suit and how it works out. So Unreal Engine setup is easy. And again, props to Rococo. They have a whole dedicated video how to set it up. They have for older versions of Unreal Engine and they also have new video for 5.5. And for un for the many humans is super easy, the same as like face. You just go to the live link and just input the body and uh, face sources into the meta human. So I use it my cat character, um, and it just plug and play. Like really, just in in studio, you just press connect. It automatically, as long as everything is in the same Wi-Fi, it automatically connects to the Unreal Engine. It was great. It was actually the experience was great. And the similar like I was covering in a mock-up section, you can put your characters in the Rococo studio. They have a live retargeter. You can input different kind of characters. They feel full support for Unreal Engine characters. Uh, it actually works flawlessly. The whole movement, you know, I, I, I set up my facial capture so I can facial capture, I can move around, I can, I can do all that, so. You know, I, I love that there's no feet drifting and all that. Finger tracking works great. It works. I can walk around. I can talk. You know, they have their own facial app. Um, again, it's part of the whole the set setup. You just connect everything together. Just walk around and uh, do all that. Only big pitfall that I currently notice and I kind of like looked a bit some of the YouTube videos is clapping. Well, the finger tracking works perfect uh hands actually go perfectly but clapping is not working and that's why they have a coil uh, unfortunately i don't have a their new coil so i can't test what are improvements with or without the coil for let's say the hand placement but from some of the youtube videos that i saw and yet there is a big improvement so and um only kind of the downside for retubing is that you need to have their uh, plus plus plan uh, that sends the data to Unreal Engine. Uh, I'm not sure, kind of from their from their thing, if uh, you need to have a pro license also for the sending over the uh, facial data. Anyhow, you can use still record your body, send body data with your uh, plus membership. 
And then, for example, you can use, instead of their app, you can use Unreal Engine, uh, Live Link, Face App, and use that to do your facial uh, animations. Because it doesn't matter. As I said, there's like, you can just set the source from whatever you want. And so instead of using the Unreal, instead of using the Rococo input for the facial expressions, you just use that. It's the same setup. It's just in a drop down menu, you just change it. So that's my initial experience with live tracking. I definitely had fun and I want to try really do some uh, VTubing stuff with it a bit more. Uh, I'm probably just going to need to, you know, write small, some kind of like, you know, animation blueprint so I can just fix some of this stuff, some weirdnesses. But everything, besides that, everything actually looked pretty good. Uh, for for live exper live experience and uh, you know with metahumans it's super easy just plug and play and the same you can use for like you know any other character that's rigged on the and uh many let's say or metahumans and all that so that's about it guys uh i hope you enjoyed my rococo live experience if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one bye